Okay, I think I'm on number six. At some point, I'm going to lose track on the number. So if that ends up happening, you're just going to have to forgive me on that. But right now, uh, I want to talk about, um, I'm just kind of moving forward because one of the things that we've been doing at Juneteenth as we've been waiting to go through this this process from trademarks and and manufacturing and uh, all those things. And I'm jumping around on these topics like crazy. So there's really no method to how I'm doing. It's just remembering things that we found uh, taxing and frustrating and, you know, red flags that, that has popped up. And I'm trying to do all this like within a three minute period. So I am uh, just kind of moving through this pretty uh, quickly. But one of the things that we've done in Juneteenth uh, is we started to start planning our marketing. A lot of us in Juneteenth, we, we have a, we got an extensive uh, background in the music business. And the one thing that, and even still today, that holds true with people in the music business is that they go into the studio, they, they put down their music, they're excited, they'll put it on whatever format they're going to put it on, they're going to upload it, stream it, CD, vinyl, whatever you're going to do. But the one thing that they don't do in the, all this process is be able to deliver it to market. And how do you and, and 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 what is your marketing and sales plans for it? Okay, so so they wait until after they finish the product to say, okay, this is how we're going to do it. Well, in alcohol business, you have a you have the benefit of being able to start doing your thing prior to your product being done. Okay, as I was saying, I'm saying what is this? It's August 9th, twenty twenty three, and uh, we still haven't got our product to market. And we started this company back in October of twenty twenty two. And actually, it was conceived back in, in back in around June of 2020. Okay, and we're still trying to get our product to market because of all of the things that we're learning as we go. And this is really, honestly, it's not a learn as you go thing. You got to have a plan. You got to have a process. But back to marketing. <laughs> back to marketing. So what we did, we were blessed enough to have a team of people that that have creative backgrounds, like I said, from music, uh, videos. Um, you know, people with dynamic voices and we do voiceovers. We have created our radio ads. We've created our 3d ads for our drink. We have started doing a lot of marketing ad layouts and that sort of thing. Um, and, and, and they're chilling, you know, we have built our presence, uh, online. So when you go and you, you know, you Google Juntini or Juntini strawberry cocktail cooler or, uh, the real Juntini, you'll find us, okay? And that's important that you make sure that you have a good internet presence so you don't confuse the market with other things that are going on. So I'm gonna tell you about that and how that impacts uh, your, your, your copyright. So again, coming up on three minutes, I don't wanna go over three minutes, so we're gonna talk about that on the next go round. I'm going, man, I'm on a roll.